Sometimes you get case assortments that are really nice, and other times you get assortments that are just full of... Manure. Yeah, that's what it is. Manure, because it's back to the future. And Biff, when he was driving this Ford Super Deluxe, he had manure jumped on him a couple times in the movie. So it's nice to get a uh, piece of movie, movie memorabilia. And that's what the retro line is all about. Get all sorts of awesome cars from movies, TV shows. Now I have, I purchased the prototype. I'll give a link to this video at the end. This is an official Hot Wheels prototype. You can tell by the colors, they're not official releases. There is the plastic without the paint on it. Pretty cool. So he'll get a feature video all by himself. This is not the first video or first release for Back to the Future. Earlier in the retro line for Back to the Future, Mattel issued Back to the Future Time Machine. Very nice. And another older release, 1987 Toyota Pickup. So Back to the Future so far has three pieces for the collector. The second one that I'm going to look at for the F case assortment is James Bond 007 Goldfinger. 1963 Aston Martin DB5. Very nice. Classy. Look at those wheels. They look perfect on the car. I like how much rubber they have. Looks like how it would on the road. Not no skinny rubber band tires. Very classy. Got a license plate. Tail light tampos. Hey, you got silver trim around the windows too. Maybe not silver, kind of a, um, yeah, I guess silver, just not shiny silver. More of a gray. I really like those wheels. Look how, look how fat the rubber is. Very nice. Looks like it has tread too. Looking at the headlights, got some headlight tampos. Got a tampo on, in front of the hood. Very nice, very classy. Now this one is James Bond 007. James Bond, he's already got four movie cars. Goldfinger, Spy Who Loved Me, Diamonds Are Forever, and Casino Royale. We'll go ahead and take a look at those as well. These were in other assortments, so if you're a James Bond fan, you're going to want to look for the Lotus Esprit S1. I love this 71 Mustang Mach 1 casting, so I'm actually absolutely very happy to have this one here. That was for Diamonds Are Forever, Casino Royale. It was also an Aston Martin, but it's the DBS, different color. This one's like a flat, right? No metallic to it whatsoever, whereas the Aston Martin DBS has a metallic sheen to it. That's the second car I'm looking at from the F case. Now let's take a look at BJ and the Bear. Hot Wheels is using the Thunder Roller casting. Sometimes with these releases, they use a casting that they already have and then put tampos on it. I'm not sure how authentic this is to the one that they used in BJ and the Bear. Probably a fan's going to know more. What's interesting about this release is that the casting is so big. Look, see, they want to keep the they want to keep the bubbles about the same height, right? But the casting is so big that they had to put the tires down here, and so oh well. I guess you're going to have to open it up if you want to see what the tires are. I'm going to save that for another day. There has not been any other releases for BJ and the Bear, but if you're a big rig collector, maybe you're going to want to look for Smokey and the Bandit. Hot Wheels used this 75 Kenworth W900. That's another awesome release. If you like big rigs, there's a couple for you to choose from the Retro Entertainment line. Don't you hate when people leave the best one for last? Well, sorry, that's what I'm going to do. Batman Returns Batmobile. Oh yeah, very nice. I have two favorite Batmobiles and this is the other one. The first one, my favorite, is this one, the TV Batmobile. Already released in the retro line. I think it was in the very first assortment. Might have been carryover into the second as well. But yeah, for me, it's just fantastic. I get my two favorite Batmobiles in the retro line. So you got a little bit of a headlight. I don't know why he would need turn signals. He just goes where he wants to go. These wheels, these wheels are sick. They're just awesome. Got a little wiggle. Even though the model, not a whole lot you can do with the model. Put a little silver accent. Got a little tail light in the back, tail light tampos. 
But these wheels, it's kind of like a gunmetal gold. It's got like a dark hue to it. Really, really happy to have this in the retro. Maybe you guys will want to add it to yours. If not, you know what, just buy what you like. You don't have to buy something just because I say it's my favorite. There it is. Mm -mm -mm. Ecto-1A. It's going to be very hard to find on the pegs. This one's going to be super hard to find. Now I just turned around and bought the set online so that I can have all of the models. The Ecto was released before. It was just like the TV bat. It was in the first or the second assortment. I forget. This one's, sorry my thumb was covering, Ghostbusters 2. This one's representing the uh, sequel, Ecto-1A, for Ghostbusters 2. Awesome decals all over it. The reason why this thing's going to be hard to find, not only is it just, it's just great. Nice big caddy, you don't get these too often. But you got Ghostbuster collectors, you got Hot Wheels collectors. Look at all the detail they did on the piece on the roof, the roof rack. It's a little bit different for the original movie, Ghostbusters Ecto-1. This one, excellent tampos and details as well. The models look like they're exactly the same. Maybe if I put them like this, you can compare them for the casting. The casting looks exactly the same. I don't see any difference. I might make this a special video later on as well. But for now, we're just going to have a look at it in the package. Since we're taking a look at the whole assortment for the F case, check out how they have uh, the temple right there. It says, we're back. So very cool. Very glad to have this one. All five cars really nice. My least favorite would be the Casino Real. It's just kind of plain, but it's still a nice release. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Aston Martin. It is superb when you look at it. Just everything very, very nice. Nothing goofed around. Just looks really nice. Fans of the car are going to pick it up. Fans of Retro are going to pick it up. If you like big rigs, maybe you can pick up the Thunder Roller. I mean, to each their own. I'm just really glad an excellent assortment for me. Batmobile was in there. How about you guys? Out of the five cars... Which is your favorite? Which one or two or three or four or five do you hope to pick up? Remember I said that I had the prototype for the Ford Super Deluxe. If you'd like to see that if you'd like to see that video, give him a click and then you'll see my presentation for this Hot Wheels prototype that I paid eight hundred dollars for. Maybe you just want to see something else. Check out nah you guys don't like supercars, right? Koenigsegg, Agera, Agera, That's what it is. Anyways, take a pic. You got time. Watch another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.